Luma AI Dream Machine, arguably one of the best AI video generators, but how good is it exactly? Well, I've been playing around with it for a while now, I've created a ton of different videos, and honestly, I'm quite impressed by it. So in this video, I will show you exactly how it works, I will show you how you can use camera motion, I will show you how you can use images to videos, and I will also show you a cool way to generate new prompts for Luma AI. Now, if you want to follow along with this tutorial or if you want to check it out yourself, then make sure to click the link in the description and then we can get started on this video. So after logging in, this will be the page that you will see. And the interface for this is really, really simple. So all you have to do is you have to type in your prompt. Let's do, for example, a campfire in the woods. And then you just send it and then it will start generating the video for you. Now, if you have no idea what to generate, you can also use this ID right here. And then you can use that for your generations. Now, also, if you have no idea how to prompt, I will get to that later. But first of all, here is a prompt guide that you can use but I have an actual better idea than that, but I will show you that later. After about a minute, you get a video like this. And honestly, it is quite good. The fire is looking very realistic and you also have a camera tilt going up. But let me show you how you can make this even better by changing up the prompt a little bit. Now to enhance this prompt, I'm using the following prompting technique. So I have written it out right here. This is exactly the same. I've just taken it from the notion. And I'm using this formula. So the subject plus the setting plus key elements and then optional your camera movement and if you want to enhance the prompt or not. So for this, I'm gonna do for the subject, a group of friends. And then the setting will be sitting by a campfire, roasting marshmallows as the fire illuminates their face. So now I'm gonna leave enhance prompt on because I've tested out multiple times and enhance prompt, it does a good job at making the video better. And then I'm gonna add a camera setting. So all I have to do is type in camera and then I can do move left, move right, move up, move down, push in or pull out. So for this, I'm gonna do pull out and then we click on send. And now our campfire looks like this. Compared to our other video, this one looks already a lot better, but we can make it even better by using an image and turning that into a video. So I'm doing that right here with Midjourney. So I've asked it to make an image of a group of friends. Then I've upscaled that. And now we can use this image right here and we can save it. And then we can use that for Luma AI. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my downloads then I'm dropping it in there and then I'm going to type the exact same prompt that I typed right here. So I'm just going to do the same prompt. So you got to describe what you're doing. I enhance the prompt because in my opinion, images with enhanced prompt on look a lot better when turning into a video. And then we're going to send it. And now we have a video like this. So this one looks even more detailed. And to me, image to video will get you the highest results with what you want if you describe the prompt correctly. Now, if you have no idea what to prompt and you're sick of using just these ideas, then let me show you another way with ChatGPT or Cloud AI, whatever you prefer, to generate some prompts for this. So if you're not sure what prompt to use and you want to have a little bit of help with AI, then I got two methods for you. The first one is through Cloud AI, and I'm literally using a free version right here, so you can do that as well. What I've done here, I've entered in all of the details about uh, Luma AI. So here I have all of the details, um, including this shot glossary. And I've used all of this, I've downloaded this, and then I've put this into cloud, and then I've put this prompt onto there. Now, if you want to find where you can find this information, you can go to the Luma AI Notion page, then you click to advanced techniques, and here you can see all the different camera shots, drone shots, camera motion, all of that. And then Cloud AI will use these type of words when crafting a prompt for you. Now, make sure to use this prompt as well. And then once you've done that, you can just simply ask it to give me 10 prompts. And now it will find 10 different prompts for you that you can straight ahead put into Luma AI. Now, if you don't want to do all of that, you just want to have the ChatGPT version for this, then you will need to be a ChatGPT Plus user, and then you can use my bots that I've made. So I can just say, create 10 random prompts. And this pretty much works the same. I've trained this GPT bot to 
make good prompts for Luma AI. Now, what I love about Luma AI is how detailed it is. If you take a look at this video right here, we see a POV of a server riding a massive way and it looks pretty detailed. It looks in slow motion. Honestly, I just really love this video. Another thing that I want to share with you is the difference in enhancing the prompt or not enhancing the prompt. Because I got two videos that you're looking at right now. The one on the left is not enhanced and both have been used with the same image and the same prompt. Now, the one on the left is slowly zooming in, the S torch is coming down and then it transforms, but the dinosaurs aren't moving at all. The other one is way more dynamic. You see one dinosaur running away, uh, it morphs into the other dinosaur, which is an unfortunate thing that happens with a lot of AI video generators. But other than that, that video looks very good and very realistic. So what enhancing the prompt does, it will detect your image and it will kind of like read the image and then it will make extra prompts for that to get more movement on the videos. Here's another example on another image that I generated. And keep in mind, the prompt remains the same. Now I ask it to do a pullout and here it didn't do a pullout. It just did a slow zoom in. It looks really cool and it looks very realistic and it has little movement. So if that is your point, just to make images move a little bit and to get a bit of life into them, then just using the one without enhancing the prompt might be the one for you but if you want to have more realistic images that also follow your prompt correctly then this one where i enhanced it looks a lot better to me so here i use the enhanced prompt feature and now we have the camera pull out and we can see him pointing the camera and it looks pretty cool besides that you can do other camera movements if you type in camera then you can see all of these different movements are the ones that you can do and let me show you an example of a video where i do a slow pan to left and here we can see a cat sitting on a carpet we see a campfire and then on the left we slowly see a window popping up and i've also extended this video so what you can do is if you click on extend you can type anything else that you want to appear in a prompt and then your image will be extended by up to five seconds. Now for easy shots like this, it works great to use Dream Machine. Like this hot air balloon, it looks very good and there's no weird motion at all. But sometimes on some images or some videos, you get a weird movement. Check out this image that I used. I asked it to make Steve Irwin smiling and the camera to pull out and it didn't do a good job onto that so that might occasionally happen and you might have to restructure your prompt or you have to try it again and again until you get it right for this video i just used luma ai it didn't use an image at all and honestly i'm quite impressed with this outcome the details are very realistic the landscape is very good and the zoom out is also exactly what i wanted it to be now for image to video it works pretty much the same but you can play around with it let me show you exactly how it works so here i have a few images so first of all i have this penguin and what i have to do is i just drop it in and then you see we also have an end frame so what you could do if you have another frame of the penguin like being closer to the screen or either farther away or maybe moved up a little bit to the left then you can use this as an end frame but i don't have an end frame right now so i'm just going to prompt it i'm going to say a cute penguin walking towards camera for this one we're going to do a camera pull out and then we're going to leave enhanced prompt on and now we just hit send and now our video will be generated and now you get something like this let me do a few other ones so here i have another image of a woman sitting in a hot tub with a few gorillas so i'm just going to drop it in there and then i'm going to type in a woman sitting in a natural hot tub with gorillas so here i'm gonna use this prompt and now we're gonna click on enter and let's see what it looks like so here we have our gorillas sitting in the hot tub and because we didn't give it a camera movement it decided its own camera movement now if i were to reuse this and i were to do like the same image so let me just use that same image and then we're going to use the same prompt but i'm going to give it not camera instructions but i'm just going to turn off the enhanced prompt then we're going to get something like this so the animation here is a lot slower they're not moving the camera at any point the only thing that's going strange is her hands 
morphing into something else. But the first second is pretty much useful for this, but you should try to regenerate this a couple times until you get it right. Now, other than that, here we have some other things that you can do with Lumaya. You can literally make people hug. It looks a bit strange, but it works. Uh, you can do some cool zoom ins on your favorite images. You can make explosions. You can literally let butterflies fly around. And let me show you some more. Check out this robot assembly line. If you look into the middle, then you can see that it looks quite good. If you don't look too long onto it, then you don't see that it is AI generated. This wide angle shot of this waterfall is also really good. The only downside is the water down there is not really moving at all, but on top of the water floating, it looks really good to me. Now, let me know in the comments down below what you think of Lumai And if you want to try it out yourself, then click the link in the description down below. If you want to see more videos where I test out AI video tools, then click the video that's on the screen right now.